Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. I got a delicious pizza. Just kidding, I lied! Hey everyone, so uh, recently the FNAF movie came out. If you didn't know that, then I don't know what the hell you're doing here. You probably just stumbled upon this video being like, Fire of Freddy's? What's this video? <laughs> Uh, but a very titular character from said Five Nights at Freddy's movie is the Yellow Rabbit, or Willie Mafton, or Spring Bonnie, depending on how you want to term it. And obviously there are, you know, plushies of Spring Bonnie, but not this specific depiction of Spring Bonnie. And I figured, uh, why don't we do a little DIY on how to make a custom? A custom of this plushie. Now, uh, I guess to start with, you're obviously going to need a Spring Bonnie plushie for this, um, but I know that this guy kind of goes for a lot, so uh, we're not going to be using a Spring Bonnie. We're going to be using a bootleg Spring Bonnie. Uh, I know that this may be controversial, but whatever. Um, obviously, they're like this is a solid looking bootleg. Like It's not perfect, obviously, but you know, that doesn't matter. You're going to be customizing it anyway. So, you know, you can make a good custom out of a bad bootleg. Uh, I think this is an X Smart Global Spring Bonnie specifically. So, uh, yeah. Um, if you want. I mean, I'm not going to try and stop you from using a real one. But I would recommend getting a bootleg because it's way cheaper. And you still get to keep your normal Spring Bonnie. But yeah, uh, this tutorial slash DIY will need no sewing. Uh, it's only simply experience with scissors, hot glue, sharpies, and I guess just cutting felt. Speaking of which, here's the materials you'll need. A pair of skizzers. Uh, any kind really would work, but as long as it's sharp enough to cut through felt. I almost just cut my finger there, don't do that. A sharpie, a uh, black one preferably. A uh, low temp glue gun. I would uh, recommend using low temp as high temp is more for things like wood and metal. Uh, low temp is perfectly fine for any kinds of felts and fabrics and you're less, a lot less likely to burn yourself. You gotta be very careful on this part because that, that'll definitely burn you if it's on for long enough. Also, some extra hot glue sticks, uh, depending on what kind of glue gun you have. It might need the mini sticks, it might need the large sticks. Uh, just pay attention when you buy it. And lastly, you are going to need a couple different colors of felt. I just have some scraps here. Got a couple different yellows, uh, different, different shades of yellow. We got some white, and we got some black. So those are all the colors you'll need. So, uh, if it also helps, maybe it wouldn't hurt to pull up a reference of the yellow rabbit to go along with this video while you're making your little guy. So, uh, to start, I guess we should cut the tags off, uh, where did I put my scissors? Um, hang on guys, I think I misplaced my scissors somewhere. Uh, um, where did I put the I think I see the vision here. All right then. I'll play along. Well, suppose I shouldn't be wasting any time now, should I? Step one. The outer edges of the yellow rabbit's eyes are more concave than the eye rings that are placed on the spring bonnie plush. So the first thing you're gonna want to do is cut around the eye rings to take them off the plush. Just try your best not to cut into the plush itself, as doing that would damage the outer edges of the eye ring. There's one eye down, now for the other. And Bear in mind, there may be a little bit of black debris from the embroidery on this plush specifically. However, worry not, you will be coloring around the eyes with black anyways, so it'll blend right in. There we are. The eyes have been completely removed of the eye rings, and soon you'll be able to get to the fun part. However, this plush is not fully reprimanded of its lesser-liked attributes. If you've noticed, the yellow rabbit has only one complete ear, whereas this plush has two. And also, the placement of the ears isn't exactly ideal, so it would be best to cut these off and move them around. 
I'd recommend plugging in your hot glue gun for the meantime to allow it to heat up. However, as previously stated, be very careful. The hot glue gun can get very warm, and we wouldn't want you to be hurt, now would we? The next step would be cutting off the two large rabbit ears that are on top of their head. If they're spaced apart to your liking, this step won't be necessary. However, every bootleg's different. As you can see, the head is left with very minimal debris. Ah! How could I forget? In my hastiness, I almost forgot to cut the tag off. There we are. This actually gives me a good opportunity to say... Spring Bonnie's ears are placed in a way that allows them to curve inwards. However, on a lot of depictions of the Yellow Rabbit, you'll notice their ears curve outwards. So if you would like to flip-flop them to achieve this effect a little bit more... easily, and that is a decent way to do it. Ooh, they appear to be waking back up. Well, I'm sorry to cut this visit short, friends. However, I have duties to attend to. Hope you all have fun creating your little yellow rabbits. And remember, I'm always watching. <laughs>Start the custom? Did I do this? Did I knock myself out with the glue gun? Eh, that's why you gotta say be careful. Well, uh, it seems they left us at a pretty good spot for me to chime in. So, uh, Spring Bonnie's ears look a little bit more pointed outwards in this depiction, so it might be best to actually switch these around. Adjusting the camera a bit here for ease of access. Uh, as you can see, you're going to want to plan out where you're going to place the ears to an adequate level. Uh, I would actually recommend aligning it with where the pupil is, so the center of the, uh, little, the little inner highlight aligns perfectly with the pupil when it's placed on the head. So you're going to want to take your hot glue gun, which at this point is warm, uh, and take a big glob of hot glue on the bottom of the ear. Just put a pretty nice amount on there to cover the ear. And then, you're gonna wanna take your plushie and stick it right on there, aligning it with the pupil. And there you go. Press down on it. And if you have a low enough temp glue gun, be very careful, but you can press the glue in just to make sure it stays pretty well. Let that dry, and there you go. You have one ear on your plush. And as long as you're not too rough with it, it should stay in pretty well. Next is the other ear, and if you'll remember, the yellow rabbit's left ear is actually, uh, only half. So you're gonna want to take your scissors again and cut off the ha top half of the ear. Try making it so that you do this in a circular pattern so that this comes off at a circle rather than a straight line, because that's more like what the yellow rabbit's ear looks like. So you want to cut in a curved pattern like this. There we go. Then to seal that ear off, you're just going to take a little bit of hot glue and place it right here. Squish this down. Let it sit it there for a bit, let it dry. Sorry guys, I had to move the pizza box because the camera wouldn't focus on what I'm holding. Darn set pieces making my life more difficult. It actually might not be a terrible idea to take some of the fabric from the other ear, cut a little bit, and put it on top of this ear to clean it up a little. Take your scissors, cut a little bit of fabric off the ear. You can get this little bit off the back of it just by tearing it. This may take a second to get it. And then you'll see all yellow on the bottom once you've turned off this little extra piece of fabric. All right, so you're gonna wanna take this little piece of fabric and t stick it on the top of this uh, little ear. Of course, applying a little bit of hot glue first. There you go. And then place your fabric on top, squishing down and shaping it to your liking. And there you go. Should end up something like this. And if you'd like, you can take your pair of scissors and just cut in little teeny snips to shape it and just clean it up a little bit. There we are. Now, just uh, do the same thing we did for the right ear. Put a little bit of hot glue down, 
on either the head or the ear. Kind of forgot I did the ear. Usually this kind of thing's interchangeable. And try and align it. Put the ear down. Hold it down. Also, obviously, the seam line is where you're going to want to try and align the ears, but, you know, if you miss it a little, as long as it looks fine to you, it doesn't really matter all that much. The seam line is a good place to really uh, look for that kind of spot. There you go. Already looking more like Springtrap. Next, you're going to want to cut off the purple bow tie, but be very careful when you do this. Don't just go cutting all willy-nilly. You're going to want to try cutting the little teeny tiny threads. I'll zoom in on the little teeny tiny threads that are connecting the bow tie to the body so that you don't actually break the bow tie itself, but you do break its attachment to the body. Just gonna cut very carefully, trying to cut the little teeny threads, and there you are. The bow tie comes off just like that. And you'll have the little loose threads you can just pluck out. And there you go. Now Spring Bonnie has no bow tie. Though save this piece, we're gonna be reattaching this later with hot glue. It's just, just an ease of access type thing so that when we do draw on all the details, we don't have this in the way. Yeah, oddly enough, the yellow rabbit's pretty asymmetrical for being all about symmetry, but you know, I guess that's irony. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is add on some new little pupils for this guy. Cause Spring Bonnie's pupils are green and the yellow rabbit's pupils are white and black. So get your white and black fabric out. Starting with your black, you're going to want to cut out two circles about the same size, roughly, as the pupils of your plush, so you can just put some hot glue down and cover it right over top, like it never even existed. A good way to cut out two identical shapes is to take your fabric and fold it over. So just cut out a rough circle, maybe a little bit bigger than you're thinking it's going to need to be, so you can clean it up. There we go. Cut along here so the fold line's gone. There we are. And then... Just slowly kind of whittle it down until it's about the size that you're looking for. There's two circles. Let's check just in case. There we go. It's about perfect. So there we are. We have two black circles that can go right over the eyeballs. And now we're going to want to cut out two slightly smaller circles of white. This is to sort of mimic the look of Springtrap's eyes being, you know, black and white in this strange pattern. Cut out a rough circle. And then kind of whittle it down until you have a circle that fits the eyes. Something along those lines. I'm going to clean this up a bit off camera and you'll see the final result. So there is our four little circles. Two black circles and two slightly smaller white circles. And you're going to want to take your hot glue. Don't do what I'm doing, by the way. This is just for the video. Uh, put a little bit onto the black circle. Be very careful. And then put the white circle, try centering it. The good thing about hot glue is that it takes a second to dry, so you can, it's a little bit malleable before it's fully solidified. Put it right about the center. There you go, you should have something like this. Do that for the second one, and you'll have two perfectly little circular eyes. You can fit both of these right over the pupils pretty dang well. So next, now that you've finished these pupils, you're gonna wanna take your hot glue gun. Place a little bit of hot glue on the pupils themselves. Take your little dots and push it right onto the pupil. So it covers it almost entirely, or entirely if you're able to. And there you go. Now you just gotta do the other one. There you go. So now we come to a much easier step. This is going to be coloring the plush with a bunch of Sharpie. Obviously, Sharpie uh, is wet before it's dry, so you're going to want to be very careful doing this and not to smear any on the plush. You're going to want to be very delicate and try not to touch any of the parts you color with your hands. The first and most obvious place is these buttons. The yellow rabbit has black buttons, not purple buttons. So, we're going to want to take the Sharpie, color these parts in. There we go. Of course, another way to do this would also be just cutting out two little black circles and covering that spot up. However, if you don't feel like doing that, this is a perfectly fine option. I will show both methods, though, for people who want to do either. So yeah, we got two little black dots, and you're going to want to do the same thing you did for the eyes. Just put a little bit of hot glue on each of these spots and place the dots on.
Personally, I think the felt's a little more visually appealing, at least in this context. However, like I said, do whatever you want. This is your plush. Now that we have the buttons, we can start to do the withering. Starting with the head, like I said before, the yellow rabbit has more concave eyes than certain, like, the Spring Bonnie plush does. So you're gonna want to take your Sharpie and kind of draw a black outline around the eye shape just to kind of give it, like, it almost the appearance like there's a hole there. And there's sort of spacing between the fabric and the eye. Like I said, a finer tip Sharpie does make this process a lot more delicate. And sometimes you will get little traces of fabric on your Sharpie, so you just want to take your hand, just kind of flick that off with your nail. Don't worry. I know Sharpie says it's permanent ink, but it will eventually wash off. It's not a huge deal if it gets on your hands a little. Continue to just sort of trace around the eye. And there you go. Now I just have to do that again for the other eye. There we are. I'm gonna let this just sit and dry, as like I said, Sharpie is wet until it dries. So, if you end up touching it with your hands or rubbing it, it's gonna end up smearing and it's gonna look bad. So this next part is pretty meticulous. There is actually a little unfilled circle inside of Spring Bonnie's eye. As I stated, a finer tip Sharpie will make this process a lot easier. You have to have pretty delicate hands for this. So, to start, you're gonna wanna make almost a diamond pattern with little dots of black. So up and down, left and right. And then you're gonna wanna connect these dots to form a circle. Be very, very careful. And there you go. You've got a little circle, just like Springtrap's eye. Up, down, left, and right. It almost kind of looks like a button before you fill it in. There you go. Two little eyes for your guy. Next up, you're gonna wanna take some kind of piece of fabric that matches up with the yellow rabbit's eyes. Some may wanna go to a darker orange, some may wanna go to a slightly more yellow. I'm going to pick a sort of in-between that I've got here. But yes, the yellow rabbit has more of a blank eyelid stare. You're gonna wanna take your fabric, fold it over, cut out a square, And then sort of generally try matching up the shape with your eyes. Make a half circle, sort of elongated half circle to get the more eyelid look. Like that. And then if you would like to get a little fancy, probably wouldn't hurt to cut under it and also give this bit some curve. Something like that. Now, if you match it up with your eye, and it doesn't quite fit, this one actually fits pretty well. However, on the left eye, I think right eye, I think it's gonna be a little too big. Yeah. So, if your thing's a little too big, or it's not quite the shape you want, you can always just take one, adjust it to your liking, match it, adjust it to one, and if you take too much off, you can just restart. Always make sure it looks the way you want before you hot glue it down. So I've got my eyelids about where I want them. Gonna wanna move this off. Take your hot glue gun. Kinda put a path of hot glue in the rough shape of the eyelid. And then just put your eyelid down. Move it around to your liking, pat it down. And there you go. Now you have an eyelid. Do the same thing for this side. Two little eyelids for your yellow rabbit plushie. Now the eyes are essentially done. The next large detail is the mouth. And for this, we are also going to be using a Sharpie to color this in. The yellow rabbit sort of has an open tooth grin. So you're gonna wanna take your Sharpie, put a little, little dot right at the seam line beneath the nose, and then sort of gauge how wide you want your mouth open. I'm gonna go a little bit about here, right in this sort of midpoint between the two. And then you're gonna wanna find the two points where your mouth will end. So uh, roughly, I think I'm gonna go about here at this corner and for the other side, find the same spot. And then you're gonna wanna draw lines between all these parts, sort of like connecting the dots. Add a level of curvature to it. 
and sort of go along the seam line. Connect to this dot, and there you are. Then you can take your Sharpie, fill it in. If you take a look at this and you think, oh, this looks a little strange, or you want it to look a little different, you can always touch it up. Maybe make certain parts thicker or flatter than you want them to be. Make him more of an open mouth gaze rather than a uh, smile. It's about the look I want for it. Just sort of make sure it's adequately filled in, and then let this set to dry. Doesn't this guy look beautiful? All right, well, uh, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go run and use the bathroom. <sighs> nice job so far, guys. Okay, bye. Did you guys see someone walk in here? The door was open. I definitely shut it when I left the room. Maybe it was just the wind. All right, so now that your mouth is all dried, you're gonna wanna take some white fabric, cut off a chunk, and now this is the part where you make the teeth. You're gonna wanna be pretty delicate about this part because you don't wanna make his mouth look too overcrowded, but you also wanna still give the appearance of, you know, solid teeth. So you're gonna wanna take a white strip, cut up, and you make almost like a long rectangle. Try and make it about the length of the mouth long ways. And then this is where you start making your teeth. Personally, I think the yellow rabbit has one too many teeth to make it sort of a nice plush smile. So I would go with about four teeth on the top, four teeth on the bottom, roughly, uh, and to make them, you know, make sure there's a little bit of space between each tooth, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, you're gonna wanna take your strip, cut it down long ways, cut it in half. Then you can take these two pieces and fold them over top each other and cut three lines to make four, pe four teeth. So one there, there, there. So you can line all your teeth up on the table, take a good look. Obviously, like I said, it's gonna take a little bit of trial and error to see what you like best, but it's obviously a good way to align the teeth on the mouth without gluing them down, just to see how you like them look. Maybe you need to adjust the shape a little bit. Maybe you need to adjust the size. It's all up to you. Maybe you wanna give them buck teeth. I don't know, it's your plush. I ended up making my teeth a little too big, so I'm gonna size mine down a bit. I'm gonna do this off camera because this might be a bit of a tedious process. So this is the shape I generally ended up with. Uh, obviously, I'm gonna probably tinker with it once it's actually glued down. Uh, but for me, I ended up curving up the very bottom left and right teeth to sort of accommodate for the smile, aligning the ones on the top, aligning the ones on the bottom, and making them look all nice. I will glue these down now. Here's what the smile looks like after I've hot glued everything down, adjusting a little bit of the shape of the black parts of the smile, and there you go. And now, here comes the fun part. For real this time. Now, we will draw all the withering onto the plush. Uh, this sort of comes as what you visually interpret the look as. Uh, you can pick wherever withered spots you want. I like to keep it with less big spots rather than more small spots, uh, if you catch what I'm saying there. Less is more, essentially. Uh, so for me, first off, I'm gonna do a little bit of a tear right here on the snout, as there is one pretty visible on this design. There we are. There's a pretty big tear along the head here, so I'm going to also draw a pretty big tear, generally keeping the same shape. Sort of ending it off at the top of the head along the seam line. There we are. We'll come back to this piece later, but first we're gonna obviously draw it on with Sharpie. If you'd like to, I'm also going to do this, just add a little bit of detail on the eyelids. Because there is a little bit of like crunching along here. Just kind of tossing in a little extra detail, make the eyelids stick out better. On the side of his face, the left side, uh, it's right, your left. Just gonna add little amounts of detail here and there. This one's up there. I'm gonna add a spot drooping from his ear. And then I'm gonna add a big gash right at his cheek. Now for the body, I'm going to place a big gash right here on his stomach to the left of his bottom button. 
I'm gonna put another gash slightly above it. I'm gonna put a big gash right here where his arm comes to the seam. I'll put one on the actual arm itself right here. Place another more towards the hand, but I would recommend personally leaving the hands clean because that's how they are on the actual design. I'm gonna put two gashes on his leg. One towards the top of the leg, more towards the arm. And one right above the foot. And for the back, I'm also gonna place right behind the shoulder right here. One right here more down towards his butt. long gash right on the back of his head. There we go. And that's relatively where I'm going to stop putting withering. However, there is a little bit more detail on the design that I would like to add to a couple spots. I actually almost forgot about this. There is a little bit of detailing on the ear, so I'm gonna add a couple little stripes he has on his one ear and a little gash on his other ear. Right there. There we go. So yeah, that's essentially it. Outside of that, you're gonna wanna obviously take your purple bow tie. Look at the back. You'll notice what's the back from this little line that connects the seam. Take a little bit of hot glue on the bow tie. Slap it right on there. And then place it right about originally went just above the belly so yeah there we are that is my tutorial of a plushie of the yellow rabbit from the five nights at freddy's movie if you all enjoyed this tutorial or you want to see anything else like this uh, let me know suggest other characters i might come back to this series and do a couple more but we'll see hopefully all the people that have been asking me for so long on how i make my customs can finally make one Perhaps you can take this little tutorial and apply it to other plushies you want to make. So yeah guys, thanks for watching. Uh, have a nice day, have a nice year, have a nice whatever. Actually, I, I don't know when this is going to go up, but yeah, have a nice, have a nice day. This is perfect!